Hey guys, Mark with MP Aviation back with a follow-up review on the Lift Aviation AV1 KOR helmet. So all the comms are installed and done, a and R and CEP, and I've done three flights on the helmet so far, and I just wanted to make a quick follow-up review and give my thoughts on it. Overall, I'm absolutely delighted with this helmet. Without comms and using um, a headset like the Clarity Loft or Halo, QT Halo, it's a good solution. It's definitely a, um, for a helmet that has impact testing and, and, and some safety publications actually available for you to see, really good solution. It's a 1395 MSRP. So if you already have the Clarity Loft or QT Halo, good solution if you don't want to do uh, comms inside. That significantly uh, increases the price point. I know that. I, I did use the Clarity Loft inside it a few times. It wasn't my favorite solution, to be honest. Uh, I already had a Bonehead Pilot X, so I was already using a helmet with installed comms. Maybe that spoiled me. Uh, I wanted comms in this helmet. So I ended up spending money and putting comms in and CEP, uh, a and and CEP. And I really, really love this helmet. This is going to become my, my primary helmet. And the Pilot X will be my backup helmet. It's quiet. It has okay passive. Uh, so if you lose A&R, it's okay. Uh, the CEP will be absolutely phenomenal in extremely loud environments. Things like uh, you know single engine warbirds or really, really loud aerobatic airplanes, things like that. Uh, I did not use CEP. Uh, I did three flights in the extra last week. Did not use CEP and it did fine. If I lost A&R, it will be significantly louder. The passive is not phenomenal, but it's okay. Overall, I'm just absolutely elated with this as a as a built-in comm solution helmet. One thing you'll notice also too, uh, probably the biggest phys uh, physical change um, is I put uh, HGU bungee buttons on the helmet to accept an HGU style visor. Why did I do that? Well, I already had three or four visors for my Pilot X and I wanted to be able to interchange them. So uh, this was a, a no-brainer solution. Works great. The contour is the same as the HGU and the Pilot X for that matter. So it, it really, it works really, really well. And it gets rid of that, that kind of, a, I wasn't a huge fan of it. It didn't bug me as it, as it bugs a few others that I've talked to. But back here there was a little, not uh, kind of a rubber uh, strap and you had this long elastic strap, almost like a snowboard style helmet. Was it modern? Yes. Uh, wasn't to my taste, so to speak. That's not necessarily why I did it. I really had, uh, I already had visors. I didn't want to spend the money on buying uh, different colored visors or different visors uh, from Lyft. They do sell a bunch of different colors, so you can customize this helmet any way you want with their visor. And their visors are really good. They were really clear. I used the visor that came with the helmet as is for several flights uh, when I use my, my Clarity Lofts, and I, loved, I liked it. I liked it a lot. There, there's no problem with the visor itself, but I, I actually like this solution a lot better. So bungee, uh, HU bungee, bungee um, buttons, CEP, you can see the CEP in the back there, and the active headsets ANR kit, along with a David Clark uh, microphone. So you can see, that's, this is how it looks. This is the finished product. Really, really happy with the helmet. It's very comfortable. It's extremely comfortable. It's more comfortable than my Pilot X. I think it's lighter too. I actually really need to, to weigh them, but overall, really happy. Check out liftaviationusa.com. You can customize this helmet and buy comms from them uh, or purchase the helmet with comms from Lyft. Uh, flighthelmets.com will actually do that install. So highly recommend it. I know it's an investment. It's an expensive helmet. It's it's in competition with like MSA Galley and some of the other helmets. So it's it's the price point is high, but it's an investment in your safety, and it's the only helmet that has actual safety documentation printed about it. So overall, extremely happy, and this will be my uh, my go-to helmet in the future. Thanks for watching.